I screwed up and I parked too far forward and now I have two brutal scratches down my front bumper from this hinge. It just ripped right through the paint, through the plastic, and it sucks. So here's what I'm doing to prevent this from happening to me or anybody else who parks in this garage ever again. I couldn't find anything sold to do what I want here, so I picked up two of these photo beam sensors which are sold for security systems. They have a relay in them that I'm using to break the circuit for the existing sensors and the garage door opener sees it as a loss of the sensors and it stops the door just like I want. I'm using two sets of them, one inside the door and one outside, to stop the door from either direction since I've already had two close calls from the auto home link trying to close the door on me. Here's a diagram of how it's wired. Normally the factory sensors would just connect here and here. So these photo beam sensors are now in series so that if either one senses, it opens a relay contact and breaks the circuit. The sensors need 12 volts DC to operate. So I'm using this little power supply in the same outlet as the opener. And since each sensor needs two wires for power and two for the relay, I ran four wires along this route from the opener to the sensors. Some other solutions I considered were just moving the existing sensors to bumper height, but by the time it sensed the bumper, the hinges would still hit, and it defeats the safety purpose for kids and pets. I looked at adding another set of factory sensors, but at least with my opener, these sensors are not as simple as you'd think, and they just don't work like that. I also considered the low-tech approach of just putting some sort of soft protector on the hinges, and that would probably solve the hinge danger, but there's still the bottom of the door to think about, and that does nothing for the outside. I also looked at photo beam sensors that have two, four, or even 10 beams per pair, and that might be an upgrade to consider if you have vehicles with very different bumper height and one height won't work for you. To address some of the comments I know I have coming, yes, I was stupid, and yes, I should have had the car wrapped, and wrap probably would have prevented this one, and it would have helped this one, but I still think this one would have gotten through. But lesson learned, after I get these scratches fixed and all of my rock chips, I will be getting it wrapped. So I hope this is helpful. Thanks for the condolences, and thanks for watching.